your words will disappear. Your house will disappear. Your name will disappear. All memory of you will disappear. Hold up! Hold up! He gonna get this work! He gonna get this work, nigga! Hold up! I see what he can go through when the father don't take this time. Privileges and prerogatives granted to Christopher Columbus, also known as Cristoforo Colombo, in Italian and in Spanish, Cristobal Colon. Ferdinand and Isabella, for as much of you, Christopher Columbus, are going by our command with some of our vessels and men to discover and subdue some islands and continents in the ocean. And it is hoped that by God's assistance, some of the said islands and continent in the ocean will be discovered and conquered by your means and conduct. Therefore, it is but just and reasonable that since you expose yourself to such danger to serve us, you should be rewarded for it. And we being willing to honor and favor you for the reasons aforesaid. Our will is that you, Christopher Columbus, after discovering and conquering the said islands and continent in the said ocean or any of them shall be our admiral of the said islands and continent. You shall so discover and conquer and that you be our admiral. V Viceroy and governor in them, and that for the future you may call and style yourself the Christopher Columbus, and that your sons and successors in the said employment may call themselves dons, admirals, viceroys, and governors of them, and that you may exercise the office of admiral, admiral with the charge of viceroy and governor of the said islands and continent which you and your lieutenant shall conquer and freely decide all causes, civil and criminal, appertaining to the said employment of Admiral, Viceroy, and Governor, as you think fit in justice, and as the admirals of our kingdoms used to do, and that you have power to punish offenders. And you and your lieutenants exercise the employments of Admiral, Viceroy, and Governor in all things belonging to the said offices, or any of them, and that you enjoy the prerequisites and salaries belonging to the said employments and to each of them in the same manner as the high admiral of our kingdoms does. And by this, our letter or copy of it signed by a public notary. We command Prince John, our most dearly beloved son, the infants, dukes, prelates, marquises, great masters and military orders, priors, commendaries, our counselors, judges, and other officers of justice whatsoever belonging to our household, courts, and chancery, and constables of castles, strong houses, and others, and all corporations, bailiffs, governors, judges, commanders, sea officers, and the aldermen, common council officers, and good people of all cities, lands, and places in our kingdoms and dominions. And in those you shall conquer and subdue and the captains, masters, mates and other officers and sailors, our natural subjects now being or that shall be for the time to come. And any of them that when you shall have discovered the said islands and continent in the ocean and you or any that shall have your commission shall have taken the usual oath in such cases that they for the future look on you as long as you live. And after you, your son and heir. And so from one heir to another forever as our admiral on our said ocean and as viceroy and governor of the said islands and continent by you, Christopher Columbus discovered and conquered and that they treat you and your lieutenants by you appointed for the executing the employments of admiral, viceroy and governor as such in all respects and give you all the prerequisites and other things belonging and appertaining to the said offices and allow and cause to be allowed you all the honors, graces, concessions, preeminences, prerogatives, immunities, and other things or any of them, which are due to you by virtue of your commands as admiral viceroy and governor and to be observed completely so that nothing be diminished 
and that they make no objection to this or any part of it, nor suffer it to be made. For as much as we from this time forward by this our letter bestow on you the employments of Admiral Viceroy and perpetual governor forever, and we put you into possession of the said offices and of every of them and full power to use and exercise them and to receive the prerequisites and salaries belonging to them or any of them as was said above. Concerning all things, if it be requisite, and you shall desire it. We command our chancellor, notaries, and other officers to pass, seal, and deliver to you our letter of privilege in such form and legal manner as you shall require or stand in need of, and that none of them presume, presume to do anything to the contrary. Upon pain of our displeasure and forfeiture of 30 ducats for each offense, and we command him who shall show them this our letter that be summoned them to appear before us at our court, where we shall then be within 15 days after such summons under the said penalty, under which same we also command any public notary whatsoever that he give to him that shows it him a certificate under his seal that we may know how our command is obeyed, given at Granada on the 30th of April in the year of our Lord 1492. I the king, I the queen.